Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do some embellishing in my ring bound junk journal. I've been having a dig through fussy cuts and bits and bobs and I've been digging out things. I don't have any ready-made ephemera that's good for this journal because I tend to ink everything up really grungy when I make it. And this is not a grungy journal. So yeah, I'm making it as I go along. I did dig these out, some little journal cards. They're from a lady, yeah, Zeal Ninja. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I will link it down below. And I just thought they'd be ideal for putting a few in some of these shorter pockets till I get some more bigger ones made for top. So I'll pop a few in there. They don't need anything else. They're quite, yeah, sorted with its big tag. Uh, we did pop something quite neutral in there. I think I'll pop one in there as well. Yeah, we've got, uh, yeah, I spent ages, right, looking for all the ephemera that went with this kit. Couldn't remember where I'd put it. Do you know why? It's all in here. I knew there were more ephemera than what I'd got. I'd filled this up with some. Yeah, there's lots of little stamps in the bottom as well. Yeah, come on, little stamps. Let's have you out. What am I like? You will come out because I said so and I'm the boss. <laughs> yeah, I said that to my kids. Here we go, got you all. Right, so we've now got more things to embellish with. So, yeah, I made these yesterday and they're just too plain. They need something. So, let's start with these now. We've put a few of those cards and I'm going to save a few for back page when I've done the back page. Right, so I'll pop that out of the way for now. Grab these two envelopes, that's the way up they're going to go. And do you know how I showed you those little pockets that came in the kit yesterday? I think I've decided I'm going to put them on here, perhaps the other side. I'll see where they fit best. That's one, and that's the other. Yeah, they're going to fit, the size is going to be perfect for the back, I think. I'm having to keep these together to make sure I keep them the right way up. So if I pop one there and one there, I think that's going to be lovely. And then I can get even more tags in. It's going to be tag tastic. Right, grab your scissors. You've got to be here somewhere. You've been fussy cutting. Right, I've just about finished fussy cutting these out. I just didn't do these corners. Yep. And these are all shaped for you. Uh, Nanine, who's designed this kit and kindly gifted it to me, collage type. She's done a good job on this. I would say her kits are very beginner friendly. And do you know something? When I cut these pockets out of other kits, I quite often totally cut the flaps off by accident. But just the fact that these numbers are on, it gives your eye something to think, oh yeah, I need to cut around that. The daftest little thing like that, and it does help. Right, I'm going to be, uh, because this is only 160 GSM cardstock, I'm not going to crease, I'm not going to uh, do it with my scoreboard. I'm just going to go ahead and crease it. Yeah, that's very, it's very brave of me that. I don't usually do tricks like that. Ooh. Yeah, looking good. <laughs> I'm just looking. Du -du. You've got the corner to go from. I've got that corner to fold to. And then middle just takes care of itself. Yeah, oh, no, I'm saying yeah. No, it's gone a little bit wonky, that one. So I'm just going to pull it in a little bit. Increase again. That's better. Then crease the bottom. Whenever I put these on my scoreboard, I never line them up right anyway. So, yeah, that's going to be fabulous on there. And then we're going to do the same with this one. One. Uh, 
I hope lights are alright again today. I'm moaning about my light. I put, yeah, I put my curtain pole up. It's one of those tension ones that goes inside the recess of the window. But the curtain I'd got that I thought would fit, one curtain is not quite wide enough for the window. Yeah. And two is far too bulky and doesn't pull back far enough when I don't want the curtain shut. So I'm going to have to crack the sewing machine out and make the curtains smaller than I can have them both up. They are black, it should be. I'm thinking of putting some Velcro on the side of them as well with Velcro on the inside of the window frame just to make sure it uh, completely blacks out. Because they never hang completely straight, do they? Just like this uh, flap. <laughs> I didn't get it straight. That's better. Right, I'm going to carry on just using my tea dye distressing. I'm quite liking this look with no inking and light inking. Again, that's different for me. I normally ink things to death. I think it's summer. I want to do less inking because it's summery weather. I know we, we can't describe it as summer yet, can we? But the weather gets quite summery. In fact, we've been having summery storms. I've had some, it's like bright sunshine one minute, then it's like middle of winter howling gale the next. Very odd. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these on. Yeah, I like that. Right. Do I want to put it? No, no, I'm, I'm going to put it up there. Can I speak? No. I'm not going to put it right down in the corner. Yeah, sometimes my brain goes faster than my mouth can keep up. And where's my... Here you are. I'll use an eater. It is quite cold today. I've been just gone on about summery weather. Do you definitely get sticker in cold weather? Is it harder to squeeze out? Do you know I'm going to hold it like that? See if that helps. If that's better. I need to hold this big bottle differently. Oh, that's so much better. You get so stuck in your ways, don't you? Used to doing something a certain way. I do. There we go. Lovely. And we'll pop that one on there. So much easier. And I'm really liking this uh, tacky glue. I'm loving price. I keep forgetting to order that smaller bottle, you know, so I can decant into to make my life easier. But now I've discovered this way of squeezing it. If I'm doing things that are really delicate, though, I'll still definitely need a smaller bottle. Right, I want to get this roughly the same, but they're not going to be opposite to each other. So if they're not exactly the same, it's not going to hit your in the eye. It's not going to be a problem. There we go. And I've got some little bits and bobs of lace and fancy bits out today. We'll get a few of those stuck on. I found some of this pearl trim. I'll show it you. It's, I used to use a lot of this when I was doing wedding albums and guest books and that. And I think I might put some on here. I do think that's just going to get a little bit of a blingy wow factor. And I love it when it's the exact right length to fit on, which that is. Yeah, I think that's just going to jazz that page up nicely. Right, this sticks on lovely with art glitter, which is what I'm going to use. I'll just borrow a pin out of somewhere else to make sure it's clear because did I put my pin in? Did I heck? 
Who puts pins in? <laughs> Bring pins in sensible, organised crafters. That was wing it women. Yeah. Wing it women. Yeah, that's what I am. Right, hold it that way, woman. I don't put it everywhere as well. I just tend to put a blob under the larger pearl in the middle. And then I'll put a little bit at the edge. I'm going to line it up by popping that one there. And I'm going to put it above it. So we've got the one width of the pearl between the bottom and where we've got this. There you go. Just get it pressed down. It does grab pretty quick this art glitter, which is good. Wee. I've not said that in a video for ages. We have. I don't know why I said it. See, is it glued? Is it gluing? Yeah, I can see. So I'm just going to bob. Oh, look, I've got a mouse. You stay there, mouse. <clears throat> I'll just blob the mouse on that to hold it. While well, I put this one on. Volcano in glue. No idea why that is. Normally it happens when it's warm. So I'm really concentrating because it's gone really quiet. I'm just going to use the roll to give me that same width. But again, if it's not exactly the same as the other one, it's not going to matter that much because they're not on facing pages. Let's hold that one down. So yeah, had when I'd made these envelopes yesterday, I was gonna go straight on and embellish them, and then I'm like, I don't know who I want to embellish them with. I don't know where things are. Every rose item I'd got, I grunged up for the last grungy rose junk journal I did. And I've adapted a few for a butterfly one that I'm about to do. I've just been doing the butterfly embellishments and ephemera on and off on videos. It's one where, yeah, I'll do the journal after for a change. Right, that's stuck. That will be stuck when Mouse has held it down for a couple of seconds. So that's that. Right, wind that back up. I've also grabbed some leaf trim. This one. It's in my... It's the green one. I think that's a rather large chunk. <laughs> Do you know, I am the worst woman in the world. I sell eyelash trim all nice and neat on cards like this. Yeah, what I cut, die cut. And then for my own, I just grab an handful and stick it in a bag. What am I like? I could have just one of every colour, just so perfect, but do I? Oh yeah. Maybe when I've got my second desk. Ooh, progress is going to happen on that soon. Uh, yeah, girls have got another week at school after this one. And then it's the Springbank holiday week. Last week in May. Well, I think it ends up being first week in June nearly. Our spring bank holiday week is always, it's the last Monday in May. Unless they move it for, I don't know, Queen's birthday or something. <laughs> so, yeah. And I think Monday, May, it's the 29th of May. Right, I'm going to put this under here for a second because that one doesn't want to stick down. I think because I'm putting them on a pocket. Had I put them on that before I stuck it on with the flaps open, it might have stuck down better. So that's those. Right, while they're happening, I'll move on to another thing I want to embellish. I want to make a couple of clusters. And I'm going to use this. This is some Edith Holden fabric that I got. 
So I've, I've got videos on making clusters. I don't want that curled up bit in the end. So I'll, I'll link a couple at the end of this video. I did some Edith Holden ones with this fabric. Yeah, I think these colours go lovely with this journal. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a nice one on the front. And then we might have another couple dotted throughout. So that's how I make them. A couple of bits of fabric. Then I'll grab a bit of lace. I've got a random bag and a roll here. Yeah, I used to call me clusters out of scraps but then you run out of scraps don't you so then I just started buying loads of different Yuma laces to make them with oh look at this one I got this one and I really liked it but it's elastic <laughs> you can't tell once it's glued down you can't tell it's elastic -y. but I think some of this might come in and embellish this journal nice so let's find the end of it I think I might put one piece on this little cluster. So yeah, you're just going to get me dotting about doing all sorts in this video today. So if you're interested in how my brain works when I'm doing a journal, this is it. It dots around all over. So I like that there. And I think for the button, I am going to come in and use one of my handmade with love buttons. Grab a couple, grab needle and thread. I have even managed to find some needles that I can use without a needle threader. I just randomly bought some off of Amazon and they've got huge eyes but they go through fabric lovely and they're still very sharp. They're like bodkins but with really sharp points. I've never seen any like this before. It's made my life very easy, I'll tell you. Right, I'll grab a bit of cotton. Yeah, I've got loads of plain ones of these made up, but I don't have any of these made up at the minute with the Edith Eldon fabric, and I need to do a batch, so I've got it all out now, and I can get a batch done. Right, I'm going to go for that lighter button. I always start from the back. I don't need this to look very neat on the back because I am going to glue it down. But I always like to make mine as neat on the back as they are on the front. It's just what I do. And I've just raved about this needle and then I couldn't get it through. God, I've got thread stuck around my scissors. Oh, a nightmare woman. Let's get through. Do you know this Edith Elden fabric is extremely thick and the needle's not liking this fabric so much. When I was doing the ones with my calico, it was fine. It is a very close fabric. This is curtain fabric. It's really thick. There we go. Oh no cluster, I'll just go through a couple more times. You will go through. Yeah, this needle's not ideal for this fabric. I think the weave on the fabric is far too close. I might do one in that ticking fabric as well. That'd be nice. There we go. I'm just going to sew through back and wind it round button. I 
And then I always like to just bob a bit of glue on, make sure that thread's not going anywhere. You don't see it. There we go. So we've got a cluster. Right, let's take these out now. They should be dry. Yep, totally. So they'll be spot on with a couple of large tags in. I think I'm going to use these large tags here. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. Did I? No, I didn't print on back. It's very thin, this. It needs to be thicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bob a sheet of tea dyed paper on the back of that. It gives tags a nice look, doesn't it? So. Yeah. I'm going to cut the tags first, though. Then we'll still have some bit of the paper left. And I'll glue the back of the tag and then put it to the paper. If I had a full sheet of just tags, or it was just a full sheet I was going to cut into tags, I'd just glue the whole sheet. I'm not cutting around the uh, curved bits at the bottom because I can do that with my corner rounder. And I'm not going to cut around the curved bits at the top yet. I'll do that once I've got the paper stuck on the back. Then I'm cutting them both together and they're going to look... But it, yeah, it's going to be even. And I'm not having to trace the shape of the tag on the paper, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I mean, Nina's done these and she's, it actually says on the page they could be used as bookmarks. It all depends on the style of journal or book you're doing or what you're using this for. I mean, you might be decorating a planner and not a junk journal. So that would be ideal, having these bookmarks. Right, I am going to cut close to the top. There we go. I just thought I'd show you this because... I, I watched lots of videos when I first started and I'd just see people say, and I've just backed that with coffee dyed paper and I'd be like, and how do you do that then? And I've tried a number of different ways. And you can do you can do it how you want. Some you'll find a way that works for you, but this is the way I find best when I'm just doing the odd one or two tags. Grab your glue book woman. I think other people might do it different. Horses for courses, isn't it? So I'm just going to glue the entire back of the tag with my extreme glue stick. Making sure I've got the edges well covered. And I'm going to pick it up with that top corner that I know I'm not going to need. I love, I just use glue stick as well to pick things up. And I'm going to try and get the bottom corner in the bottom corner and just line it up. So I've then only got two to cut on the paper. Yep, that looks good to me. I've seen Tanya at Tatty Treasure do this and then she's come in with a brayer. I never have the forethought to get my brayer out. It's not one of those tools I think to even use. I think I know where it is. Hang on. So I think I've even cleaned one now. I used to have a clean brayer and a dirty brayer. Is <laughs> uh, my brayer here? No, it's not here. I'm not sure if one of kids has had it. We've, uh, we've had it for jelly printing. So I think they're both dirty now. Yeah, we did some. I do have one of them jelly plates in the fridge. Might crack it out one day. It might not be any good. I've not used it for months. I made my own following a recipe, and I don't even know whose recipe I followed, so I couldn't even help you with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm too tight to buy a jelly plate. <laughs> I'm not paying that much. I'll make my own. 
I already had some ingredients in anyway. I already had glycerine and I bought a giant tub of glycerine because it used to liven up my ink pads. Yeah, glycerine does a good job at livening up your ink pads. Will that go sideways? No, I'll lose a bit. So, I'm just going to pop that next to that. That's two. And the last one. There we go. Oh, my kids have been learning about Yorkshire dialect at school again. Ugh. From someone who's not even from Yorkshire, it cracks me right up, that does. <laughs> I think that's like learning French from your Spanish teacher, that. I can't remember what word they asked me about now. I don't know. Oh, they come on from school and said, you talk a bit like them people from Barnsley in that film, Mum. Only a bit, though. They're watching that the film Kez, which is based on that Kestrel for a Knave book, which is part of national curriculum in the UK. So, yeah, if you're in the UK and you've got kids, you probably already know about it or you're going to soon. And I'm like, well, that's because I've lived in Barnes. Like, have you? I'm like, yeah, I lived in Barnes for about eight years. Right. I didn't think you ever sounded like people from around here. <laughs> And funnily enough, I'd just had a similar conversation in reply to a message to a lovely lady called Zoe, who also lives in Sheffield. <laughs> but she's born and bred in Sheffield, I think. I'm assuming. Mind you, I assume she worked full-time and she doesn't. So, yeah, well, she does work full-time. She just does it at home, looking after kids and house and husbands. Mm, it is a full-time job. Right. I'm going to cut along there again, rather than struggling with a full sheet. Yeah, so my kids were amazed to know that I've lived and worked in Rotherham, Sheffield and Barnsley. I mean, it's not... It's not jet setting, is it? It's not London, Paris and Rome. <laughs> oh. You forget that your kids don't know about you do they they don't know a lot about you from before you had him we don't have a lot of close family so they'll not have found out anything like that off anyone else right, so i'm just cutting up there now and then i'm going to cut around the curved top with me smaller scissors yeah uh, I keep going on about I've got this Amazon storefront up. I have put the Tim Holtz scissors on it, but what I will say, they're an absolutely horrendous price at the moment. They are one thing and the price on Amazon goes up and down and up and down. So if you're wanting any, watch them. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. I think the large pair, it'll cost you as much for a large pair as it cost me for all three pairs when I got mine. It's ridiculous. I think that's built into Amazon algorithm though, isn't it? The better something's selling price just goes up. I'd love to know if I'm right on that one. But I once, I was looking for something. I can't even remember what item it was. I was talking to Tanya at Tatty Treasure we're messaging and we're on about this item and I went over to Amazon I'm like oh I found it so I bought it and I sent her the link and between me buying it and me sending her the link it gone up seven pence so hmm <laughs> very strange I mean I know seven pence is not a lot but imagine it went up seven pence every time someone bought it and you had like a dozen people buy something I don't know I don't know how it works, but I sometimes like to have a good guess, and that's my best guess. And I'll stop waffling about that and crack on with cutting up these tags. So yeah, you now know how to, 
how I back my tags if I'm just selecting a few I may I don't know if I'm going to sew these that's why I've used my extreme if I knew I were definitely going to sew these tags I would have just used a cheapy glue stick That's my motto with glue, it's cheapest glue that will do the job well. Right, so, got those tags, They're still not overly thick because we've got 160 GSM card and coffee dyed paper. Right, grab the pages and see what they look like. Put them the other way, I don't know why because they're not even going to be facing in journal. <clears throat> yeah they're lovely in there yeah and we've got a spare one for somewhere else they definitely need i think they need some stitching i think they do i'm not going to do it now that'll be something you'll see that i have magically done when we come back for the final part of this because i am hoping to just this part and then one more i've decided what i'm doing on the front nothing <laughs> that sounds right thrilling that doesn't it oh i've decided i'm gonna do nothing no i mean i'm leaving the front cover as is i just want to pop that cluster on that we made while glue dried on that and because yeah that cluster's gonna be too thick for inside so that's gonna be my cluster for front at journal and i'm gonna punch some holes through and i'm gonna put some brads in not Brad's eyelets. I'm going to use the posh We Are Memory Keepers eyelets though because they're much, they hold much better, they're much neater. And I mean, they're sufficient for holding what they're holding, but to go through a couple of layers of paper and a couple of layers of file folder and then have some ribbon threaded through, I think I'm going to use those. Right, so we've inked all three of those anyway, and I will pop, I'll just pop the other one in so we don't lose it. I think the top of that is asking for some eyelash trim. It could be. Oh, I've not, <laughs> I've not turned sound off on the phone, I'm filming on it, it just did a glugging noise. I don't know if you even heard that. Glug. <laughs> Sorry about that. It doesn't ring, I don't have a SIM card in that phone, it's just messaging and filming. Right, yeah. So I'm just going to punch a small hole in there and do I want to use a reinforcement ring? Yeah, because you, you can go a bit too far, can't you, with metal eyelets? We've got other tags with metal eyelets on. So I'll grab a reinforcement ring and I'll colour it up. What we've got here. Ooh, oh, that's already coloured, that one. It's easy to tell me random stick. Look at that. <laughs> so I've coloured reinforcement rings. Yeah, I've got some coloured, but I don't want them that dark. I just wondered if I've got some different colours. Pinch my daughter's pro markers and just colour in. Oh, look at that. A bag of multicoloured bulb clips. No, there's none in that colour I want. And there aren't even any plain white ones. Am I out of plain white reinforcement rings? It's looking highly likely that I am. I think they're too... I don't know if they're too dark. We'll give it a whirl and see. Right, I'll grab my hand punch that does that size. <clears throat> it's this one I've got. It's a Fiskars. Do these have size on? I don't think it tells you the size on actual punch. But it's the same size as that hole. The same size you'd get in a regular hole punch. Oops, do it that way, you can see better. Yeah. Because the dot is where the hole's going to be. Yeah. I'm going to try one of the paler ones. Oh, I think that might be a good colour, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That goes well. Well, there's 
so I'll do all three. Yeah, and we'll put a reinforcement ring on all three. You can make your own of these. I've got that punch that makes your own, but it makes ones with a smaller hole. It makes them the same size hole as your crocodile, the three sixteenths hole. This hole's slightly bigger than that. Yeah, and I've got some cream eyelash trim. I'm thinking a bit of cream and a bit of pink wound together will be lovely. Mm, yeah. Look at the stain. <laughs> this is especially for Tanya at Thai Treasure. This will really bugger. It really will. There you go, Tanya. Look at that all mixed up in war. <laughs> it comes apart. I'm quite an expert at untangling eyelash trim. Right. I keep forgetting my, because my uh, medium sized Tim Holtz scissors are well used for fussy, fussy cutting paper, they really don't like, how much of this do I want on? Yeah, I'm going to put it through. I'm going to thread the loop through and thread the ends around the loop. Yeah, they really don't like cutting fabric or even thread now. But they're still really good for paper. Yeah, that's all I want on there. Bit of frou-frou. I don't even know if I'm using the same tag I said I was going to use. I like that. I've got a reinforcement ring stuck on my eyelash trim now. Put them away, woman, you untidy thing. This is why my desk gets a mess. I'm too eager to go into the next thing to put the last thing away. Just got a little bit of sparkle in this cream as well. It's lovely. Just want to make sure I get a roughly the same length. That's about right. And I'm going to cut this one with big scissors because they're not as blunt. <laughs> Even though I've used them for paper, the medium sized ones, I think, yeah, they've had, wow. If you could measure how many miles a pair of scissors have cut, it'd be a long way them scissors have gone. Mm. I'm now thinking if anyone's invented a, yeah. Little gadget to put on your scissors to measure how many miles you've cut. Yeah, so I'm I'm quite happy now with those pages. Yeah, that's it. Understated, but pretty. Right, the other sides. I'm gonna flip them over like that. So the other sides. This is where I'm gonna. I wanted to put a sticker on there, and I did keep the same two stickers out so I didn't lose them. And then I've started making other things. And guess what? Yeah. They're buried under here somewhere. So, but I did also go into my stickers and I think they might be the ones. Yeah. I, I, I still really think I want to do that. Mm -hmm. But then I, I might want to trim the edge of that with something. I think that uh, pearl trim, it might be a bit too much to use that. Let's have a look see. We'll, we'll check. Yeah, it's, it's too much. That's far too much. I'm wondering if a little bit of it on. I don't know if I might want to put just... I'm going to cut three off and have a look. Then them three will just get lost. They'll end up in my jar on my windowsill if I don't use them. I think I like it. I do. I like three on. Yeah. It makes it look as though it's a closure, even though it's not, doesn't it? It's like a little pearl clasp on a purse. I think two might have done it. No, three. I'm leaving it at three. I'm not going to start chopping them up some more. And then, I don't know if I like these. I can't decide. Let me check out some of these fussy cuts. Oh, that might be better. Yeah. 
Where did other fussy cuts get buried? Fussy cuts. Just moved them over to this side. Where are you? I mean, some of these, I don't even know where some of these fussy cuts are from, but I can guess. I'm going to guess that some of them are from Pixabay because I've just got sheets of the same image. I think that one might be a bit too pink. That one might need to go that way up. Hmm. What about that? Nah. But I do like that on it, I really do. Ooh, what about this? I've got this out to use and I've not used any yet. What about some leaf trim? Now this is in a right old tangle. It's, it'd be great. Right. End of day, it gets dark, doesn't it? Mm. Thinking on there. Oh, I'm thinking on there. Ooh. Can you even see that? Because my hands are in way holding it down. Or oh, there. I don't know if I want it on there. And a rose there. But if I have that on there, do I then need the pearl trim? Oh, I don't know. Well, I can't decide how to decorate these envelopes. Because I don't want them overly fussy. That's overly fussy. I'm going to go all understated with some pearl trim and a rose. I'm going to ink round the edge of these with the tea dye. Someone in my head's telling me all I want on there is a rose. I'm still thinking that one might be a bit too pink. Because these two are going to be facing each other. Oh, what about that? Oh, I like that. I know it's not a rose, but I like it. Not everything in this kit has to be a rose. So I've just inked that rose and then I've thrown it away. I think that's what I want. Or maybe that one. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to stop faffing. I'm going to glue that on and I'm going to put that on. And that's what's occurring. Someone mentioned the other day I was getting really good at taking the backing off these stickers. And I said in answer, I think, and it seems to be working. The trend now it's not. Now I can't do it for toffee. I seem to be having more luck when I take the sticker off the backing rather than try taking the backing off the sticker, if that makes any sense whatsoever. You can curl your corner over, but it straightens out. I've known it. I've known me have to put camera to take backing off these because they've been a nightmare. I've, I've just cut half the backing off as well because I find that easier to place. Make sure we've got no eyelash trim. Backing off that bit. I like this because they disappear into the background a little bit. So they look more like part of paper than a sticker. Got a bit of a crease there. There you go. You can burnish it out with your nail. Oh, yeah, I think that's all that needed. It didn't need anything else. That were it. Mm hmm. And then do I want that one or the other one? Ooh, that's an even different one. No, I don't want that one. But is it that one or that one? If I had to guess, I would say that one looks to have got a white background on the sticker, not a clear one. So not that one, this one. Let's try and take the sticker off the backing instead of the backing off the sticker. Yeah, that's the trick with them. Let's 
Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted. <laughs> I've got it's all static. It. Oh, I'm one of them people who oh, stuck me in static electricity. I was, I was I used to get shocks off cars all the time and supermarket trolleys and escalators and lifts. I'm just going to have to check if two looks better. I know they say I do things in threes, but... I do think two looks better. Or does it? I don't know. Now I'm going for three. <laughs> oh dear. I've got a lot of embellishing done in this video, haven't I? I was going to have a little mini craft lunch then. Right. Dot. Ooh. Dot. 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 <laughs> dot. Dot. <laughs> That's just made me think of a film. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. I'm not going to tell you what film it is. So if anybody knows what film it is, if anyone knows this film as well as I know this film, they'll know what film it is. That's all I'm saying. And this is on a postcard, please. Or in comments below. That'll do. Ah! I've chosen one with a broken end. I'm so glad that didn't want to stick straight away because I've cut from the other end and one of the beads was broken and it wasn't a full square. And that was not nice. But I'm only putting a tiny bit on because I have now got glue on the paper. There we go could do with holding that on with a clip but I'm scared that putting the clip on will move it if you know what I mean right. I'm going to put it on this one now I'm even in shot now I've gone off now you can still see me and dot 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 Another little clue, because that's what they called it in them days. Those days, if you're not from Yorkshire. Dot, dot, dot. End of. No more clues. <laughs> Makes a change from me singing. Mind you, yeah. I may not have sung, but if you know the film, you're probably singing right now. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, I know there's not anything on those. There's hardly anything on, but you know, sometimes less is more. And I think that is definitely a less is more kind of situation. Yeah. We've got the bling. We've got the flowers. We've got the feature of the stitching. Uh, you will stay. Now they're starting to stick a little bit more. I think I'm going to risk bulldog clip. No, it's moving them. It's moving them, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave them as they are and keep pressing them down. Yeah. So, we've got the envelopes decorated now. Where's he put tags? <laughs> I've lost one. Where's it gone? Oh my word. I've lost it. There it is. I'm terrible. So yeah. I'm going to leave that there as a little shorty one today. Yeah, and let those dry. And then I'll come back in and we'll do the cover 
and I think I may have decided to do something different inside the back of the cover so we'll do that one so I hope you enjoyed that one thank you very much for joining me I know it was only a short one today it may not be that short because I've done a lot of waffling and I've been very indecisive oh you've also seen how to make a cluster yeah so thank you very much and I'll see you next time bye